So I'm gonna to recommend to you Aura as your brightening highlighter. And you'll just put that in different areas. Okay, I use a smudge brush to do it. And I actually, when I do it, I put it right up into my eye like that. Okay, and this will help <clears throat> brighten those dark areas around your eyes. Okay, just like that. And you can even go over your eyes with it. And just take out all the darkness. It's like, you like to paint? It's like cleaning, a, starting with a clean palette. And that's what we're doing now. Okay, so you put your brightening highlighter in those areas. <clears throat> and then what I do is I take my brightening highlighter and it could sometimes be sunlit. Sunlit is a, a great concealer for me as well. <clears throat> but this is Aura. And another one that works well with me is white peach. So that's white peach as well. Okay. So either one of those, if you've got some really stubborn areas like I do, um, then sunlit might be a better choice. It's very yellow. I'll show you. That is sunlit. But when you put it on, it's amazing how how versatile this product is. Some of it's kind of like a demi color, but it's, you know, demis are <clears throat> correctors, color correctors, but they're highly pigmented. Some of it is kind of a, it's kind of a light yellow, kind of like a demi might be, okay? All right, as you can see, some people call me my polka dot. <laughs> I do look like polka dots and I have lots of, lots of demis, lots of marks. <laughs> and, and sunlit might be a good one for you. I would say sunlit for your highlighter or uh, white peach. One of those, maybe both, depending on what you have going on and colors, different colors on your face. <clears throat> so now I'm using sunlit up here because these spots are a little harsher and a little darker. Okay. That's not hard. That was pretty easy, right? <clears throat> okay. Okay, that pretty much does it for the all the spots. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do, and I think I might recommend this one for you. There's a new one out that I would like you to try. Uh, it's called uh, Athens. I'm going to show you Mango. Mango's a little darker than most people would recommend, but I like it because it makes me look a little bit more tanned, I guess, right? It just gives me a little bit more of a healthy, like I've been in the sun a little bit, right? So this is um, mango. And you can see it's not terribly dark. It looks darker in the tin. And these are magnetic, by the way. Your palette is magnet and your little tins, you, you get them like this. <clears throat> and you just You just slide them like this. And then you dispose of this and pop this little thing into your palette, your magnetic palette. And they stay in there and they don't fall out. <clears throat> so I would say that mango is my probably one of my more go-to colors. And I think it would be nice on you as well. <clears throat> and I'll... Marilyn has very similar coloring to mine. Um, and she's in her 70s as well. And um, and very pretty lady. 
I'm looking at her picture while I'm doing this, actually. And Marilyn has some discoloration around her eyes, like I do. Mine's more bluish. Hers a little bit more yellow, I would say. <clears throat> so if you'd like a color match, just reach out to me like Marilyn did. Text me at 1250-667-0707. Um, I don't guarantee I'll do a video for every one of you, but um, um, I can certainly suggest some colors and put something together and give you a visual of what the colors look like and what I recommend and, and price it out for you, etc. So if you'd like that, just email me, text me. I'll put, it, I'll put the information in the um, description below. Now, see, it always is a little bit darker in uh, this area right here on me. So I'm just going to put my little bit more of my highlighter right, right there. <clears throat> and I like to get rid of all this darkness around my eyes. And then when you do your your mango or whatever your highlight is, make sure you pull it down because it kind of gets a line around there. Just pull it down. Blend it in, right? Just like that. Okay? And then you want to make sure your makeup is down on your chin. Like that. Okay, so Marilyn, that's what I recommend for you. Now, I'm going to recommend some lip and cheek for you, Marilyn. Or whoever's watching. <clears throat> okay, so Marilyn kind of liked that um, that Dahlia look. And maybe I'll do that for you. <clears throat> or Frenchie. I wondered, Marilyn, if you'd look good on Frenchie. No, I think you'd look good on Dahlia. Or you know what you'd look good on? La Cienega. La Cienega. It's one of my faves. They're all my favorites. And it's a it's a subtle pink. I think you'd really like this. And uh, you know me, I always blend lip and cheek. And um, it's, it's kind of pretty. It's not too gaudy, <clears throat> not too bright. And it's very, very pretty. You see that? And it's uh, when the dish, when you look at the dish, it's not like what you're seeing. It's a little darker, right? <clears throat> the thing is, I've used almost all the colors, so I know the colors. So when you ask me for a color match, I kind of know <clears throat> what the color is going to look like. Because I've used it. You're not just looking at a picture. Okay? So I'll put La Sienda on my lips. La Sienda. It's L-A-C-I-C-E-I-N-E-G-A. <clears throat> La Cienega. There you go. And it's subtle. And it's pretty. Uh, and I might be inclined, you know me, to put some uh, petal on top of it. I don't know. It seems like I like petal on everything, doesn't it? <clears throat> so that's a pretty color. Maybe I'll put Audrey. I don't think they have Audrey right now, but they have Wallflower, and they have another really, really light. I can't think of what it's called. Okay, so what do you think, Marilyn? You think you can wear that one? Okay, I'm going to cut out now, and I'll do my eyes. You guys have a good day.